Hey guys, it's the Cardist and welcome back. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Darren Brown playing cards. Uh, Darren Brown, if you don't know, is a famous magician and mentalist um, from the UK. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give this a little review. Um, this deck actually is from Theory 11. Um, obviously they're doing quite a lot of decks recently and the detail they're going to is quite phenomenal. Um, and I'll obviously present a lot of their other decks of cards on YouTube uh, going forward. And apologies for Andrew's uh, not being here last week. Uh, he was feeling a bit under the weather, so um, he will be back this Wednesday. So let's have a look at this. So over the past two years, these playing cards have been crafted with passion, precision and art. Uh, direction by Darren Brown. They're wrapped in a gold and green to resemble an antique book. So there you go, to represent an antique book. Um, no detail has been untouched. They're obviously made by the United States Playing Card Company. Uh, it has, obviously they did some different editions of this, um, but all around it's a very pretty deck of cards. And uh, let's take a look and see what you think. So if we have a look at the front of the tuck case, it has playing cards and it has underneath courtesy of Darren Brown. I've actually seen him twice in his shows. Has a nice gold foil around the outside. Uh, there's lots of other details there and embossings as you can see. On the side it has, like a book, it has, which is very clever how they've done it, Darren Brown, Theory 11, New York, and then it has playing cards and then it has the collection works and it's basically very cool. They've got lots of little details there which you can see. On the other side, it looks like the actual book itself. So this is meant to be the cover and the back, and you can kind of see the nice lines of like the paper. The back design is very elegant. It has a green border on the back showing here, and it has the nice gold foil and the black kind of dark matte foil on the back as an accent with the lovely red kind of seal, um, which is slightly off centered, but that doesn't really make the world of difference. On the bottom, it's to continue that book feel that we're used to that was on the side and on the top it has it as well. We will pop the tab, and uh, the actual gold foiling continues on the inside, which I think is really cool. Um, and it's like an eye effect, and then it has the tab. So they've actually continued the design on the inside, uh, which is really nice and elegant for them to do so. We will move the box out of the way. So let's have a look at the actual cards. So we have a double backer and this is the design. The actual design itself is a white border with quite a nice thin white border with this really nice abstract design. There's a lot of detail and a lot of pattern work going on here. We're just gonna check that it is a mirrored back, which it is, which is good to know. So it means that if that's any use, you can now use it for different things. It has a double backer. It then has a nice design card that has playing cards courtesy of Darren Brown uh, and then obviously Illusionist and uh, from London Town and then it goes published by Theory 11. So it's a cool little kind of add-on card there and it has the nice green border on the front. We'll have a look at the rest of the cards. So you get two cards for the Joker and it's Darren Brown himself and it has the Joker, the Joker um, and it has the nice black border which is quite elegant around those. We will then look at the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades actually has a reveal of the Ace of Spades on it, but it has the Ace of Spades, official playing cards, Darren Brown, and then uh, Theory 11 on top. So yeah, really nice card there. The pits themselves aren't overly custom, so you know they're not mega custom to normal. They just obviously change the font face and a little bit more of the design on the pips, but they're pretty, they are unique, but they're not like, you've probably seen them on other decks before. The royalty is pretty standard. I thought they maybe would have included in the spade pips his face on the royalty, uh, but nevertheless, you've obviously still got the uh, nice coloring there. Would have been cool if they maybe colored it with the green and the gold as they had with the box and spent so much time on that. Going through, the diamonds are the same, and then you obviously get this diamond pips here, which throughout are exactly what you would imagine. What I do like that they've done is they've done every single ace with a custom ace. So you get the diamond here, which obviously has LDN UK and it has Ace of Diamonds with a nice intricate work around the Ace. The royalty for the clubs is exactly the same as the spades pretty much, there's not much to it. And then the spade clubs are pretty standard. Apart from when you get to obviously the Ace of Clubs uh, and then you have the custom Ace. So it's nice you get four custom Aces with this. The hearts are exactly the same. And then you get the nice custom Ace of Hearts, which is actually quite my favourite, really. I think it's quite unique. So, uh, yeah, quite a fan. 
all round, it's a very good deck of cards. Obviously, it's printed by the United States Playing Card Company, so you are going to get a very nice deck of cards overall. It's just with this deck, obviously, I think I wish there was a bit more customization to the actual cards on the inside. They spent so much time on the box and some of the other faces. It would have been nice if they maybe complemented it by doing the other cards as well. Maybe just including his face a bit more or just including some other kind of quirks to the faces that aren't just standard, you know, like... It, they're just a bit boring royalty to be honest with you but that's just obviously what I um, feel but obviously you might disagree so thank you so much for watching this video if you can give a like that is always supported and a comment on what you think please give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook uh, the links are in the description thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you Saturday with another deck review